picking up clients with cold emails. I've got a friend who started a whole agency, a video editing agency, all off the back of sending cold emails, didn't even get any of his clients through a freelance site like Upwork, Freelancer, whatever. All of it was cold emails. So cold emails, I'm very big fan of it, very passionate about it. Without further ado, we're gonna jump into picking up clients with cold emails, how to do this and some best practices. Full episode to the podcast link down below. And without further ado, let's get into this clip. Welcome back to the Make Money Making Videos podcast. Picking up clients with cold emails, cold emails, cold messages in general. There's been a few types of, and we'll add on to the YouTubers thing because picking up clients with cold emails is a great way to get YouTubers. Right now, if you want a YouTuber to edit for, right? Find a YouTuber, which is the tougher part, right? Find a YouTuber that's, that's, you know, that maybe doesn't have an editor and stuff like that and simply go to their about section. That's all you got to do. You just got to go to their about section. Their about section will have an email there every time. Like it's weirder if they don't have an email there. And also like at the very least, they're going to have a link to their social media. So go to, go to the YouTuber you want to edit for's about section on their channel and there should be an email. Send them an email because it's more official channel. But if they don't have an email, DM them on Facebook Twitter or Instagram. Ideally, Instagram and Twitter because people don't use Facebook as much anymore. So DM them and say, hey, well, hey I want to edit for you. Or say on email, hey, I want to edit for you. And uh, make it in a way that you know sounds valuable to them, not just you. Like, hey, I want to edit for you. You need to pay me 100 bucks because that's what I want from you. And fucking stupid person email. Obviously, don't send that. What you want to send is something that obviously uh, appeals to their self-interest. Hey, how's it going? I saw you guys are putting out four videos a week. I think you guys could really put videos out every single day if you brought someone onto your team. Therefore, your channel would do even better. I'm working with this guy here. When I started working with him, he was only uploading three videos a week. Now we're uploading seven videos a week. I'd love to do the same for you. That seems like it's appealing to them, doesn't it? And I made that up on the spot. We could really put a little bit more thought into it and have maybe something even better. And, uh, you know, YouTubers are phenomenal candidates because at the end of the day, they're not the most professional people in the world anyways. So, you know, you're not going to be doing some next level fuck contract, all this nonsense. A lot of the time, it'll just be a basic deal based on the, the sum per video, a flat rate per video, whatever the case may be. Nightclubs, you can pick up with cold messages. The first main type of videography I did was live event videography in nightclubs and venues. I've shot about 50 different nightclubs and venues all across the UK in so many different places. London, Bristol, Plymouth, Torquay, Exeter, um, another place, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know, other, pl other places. Um, I've shot so many different stuff. I've shot you know, all sorts of different artists, drum and bass artists, fucking, you know, electronic music, all type of stuff, uh, rappers, futures, ran into skeptics at one time at a club, all type of stuff, right? So I've shot plenty of nightclubs. Um, and I picked all those clients up, or not all of them, but a huge majority of them, and definitely the first few, on Facebook. I just go on Facebook, and you go into the search, and you type in events near me, or events June 2019, which is the month I'm in right now, right? And then you filter it just to the events near you, and there's literally shitloads of Facebook events on there. And you can click onto the Facebook event, which is usually like, you know, fucking, you know, DJ Zinc tonight at fucking Prism Nightclub, blah, blah, blah. And it's like a big poster or whatever on the Facebook page. Um, and, you know, you can just message the promoters who it says hosted by. And you can message them and say, hey, what's up? I'm Jack. I'd love to come through and film your event. I just shot Johnny's event last week. And you send a, a link to Johnny's event, uh, the after movie that you did for them. And, uh, you know, boom, they, they bring you along. They just, they flat out bring you along. Um, and the more you do with these, the more promoters you meet. And, uh, you know, inevitably promoters, you'll, you'll meet some that are your age, inevitably make some relationships with those promoters and then get recommended for future stuff. So picking up clients through cold messages is, uh, is works 100%. That's literally how I got the first, let's say at least 20 live events that I did. Um, and then obviously, like I said, you know, you meet people, you make connections, whatever the case may be. You can also shoot stuff for brands. It's easy to, to email brands, right? You know, emailing brands, email, 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 and eventually, you know, you'll get something. Uh, emailing brands, potentially, other than nightclubs and YouTubers and stuff like that, I haven't done too much of that stuff, but I definitely know people do. 